Hey guys, it's Lori, and I'm going to take my bandage off in this video. That's what this video is going to be about. So if you don't want to see it, don't watch this video because I'm going to show whatever happens to be under this bandage because I haven't seen it yet either. John's going to sit here with me and he's going to get to see it for the first time with us. I have a, my box here with stuff in it, just like some first aid stuff. And they said just to cover it with gauze and some tape. So is that other little roll of tape over there on that Lazy Susan? Brennan's roll of tape. I, I put it there so I could use it because it's this stuff's like super wide. Yeah, this will be a lot better. All right. Let me quit fiddling with all this and angle you guys down and you get to see it when I do. Like I said, just shut me off if you don't want to see it. I have no idea what it's going to look like. All right, here we go. Let me adjust my light if needed. I don't know. Is that better? I don't even think that's better. Okay, I'll just leave it like that. All right, here we go. I don't know if I want to see it either. These things are super sharp. Get those somewhere where they're not gonna, where, where I'm not gonna step on them with my bare feet. Actually, you'd probably be the one to step on them with your bare feet, right? More likely. Here we go. Oh, there's the artwork that he put on me. Oh, how is this even on there? Is this what they wrap mummies with? <laughs> Honey, if I pass out, make sure you get it on video. Oh, I will. <laughs> it might get me a lot of views. <laughs> Guys, if I pass out, you gotta give me a thumbs up. Ooh. Look at that. This is just marker, the purple. But yeah, that doesn't look too bad at all. Oh, that looks very good. My skin feels really weird though, from being wrapped up. Your palm is bruising. Yeah, look at that, all wrinkled. Look how bad that's wrinkled from <laughs> that bandage. Oh my goodness, oh, I'm sorry, there's a spot of blood on here. I hope that didn't gross anybody out. I didn't even notice it. But that's actually not much blood at all because they even said that my bandage could get saturated in blood and if it did just to keep just to wrap more around it, I'm not to sure remove it. Not a very good stitching job if you have a lot of blood. Yeah, I thought, oh my gosh, because she said, what if your bandage gets soaked in red blood, don't remove it, just wrap more around it. I'm like, well, what if it's not red? She thought that was funny. But anyway, yep, that's what it looks like. Doesn't look bad at all. So yeah, I had him put the heavy duty stitches in. Yeah, it looks good. I see that. I still have to keep it dry. But I don't know what these marks are. Those actually look like pinch marks from the bandage being super tight, to be honest. But yeah, I guess I'm not supposed to wash it or anything, but I don't know if you can tell that my palm is bruised. I think you can tell that in the video. So I got a pretty good bruise there, and this is kind of bruised too, but he said that it would be and not to be alarmed. So that's actually not that much bruising, but see? Yeah, it feels really weird. So I just have to cover it with gauze. You got my gauze ready? Oh, look look at my assistant over here. He's well, not I'm even ready. I was gonna say, <laughs> I've not had carpal tunnel surgery, but I've had a stitch or two in my day. Yeah. That looks like Band-Aid to me. Band-Aid? Yeah, she said just to put a piece of gauze over it with some tape. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I still have to keep it dry. So maybe that's why they want more than a Band-Aid just in case I happen to like. What do you do with the rest of it? Well, just put it all together. Is it one piece? Just, I don't know, just... I don't think it is. Um, I was giving you that piece. I don't know. I think, you know what, I think I'm just going to do it like this and wrap the tape around it, do you think? Yeah. Yeah. I might even put this... I might cut a piece Actually, of this off. Actually, do we off. have athletic tape anywhere? I would just wrap that athletic tape around that and call it good. I don't know if we have athletic tape or not, but I might just wrap a piece of this around it, too, because that way I won't... I don't know. I won't knock it off of there, I guess. All right.
Yeah, because I want to be able to at least wash this off. That looks a little silly. Should have washed it off first, but that's all right. Oh, don't squeeze it. <laughs> oh, don't squeeze right there. <laughs> that's plenty tight, by the way. Oh no, that's too tight. It didn't hurt. I just I just don't want it like cutting off my circulation because it kind of feels good having my hand just kind of breathing. There's the um scissors right there. I put the scissors over there. Yeah, that feels good. Don't cut my hand off. <laughs> That would have been rather difficult to do with one hand, really. But I probably wouldn't have put that much tape on it. And it probably wouldn't have stayed on, so. Ooh, that doesn't feel good. All right. Oh, you know, I would only do that for a day or two. I have to go do a Band-Aid. Yeah. Like one of the big square Band-Aids, huh? I might change that later, or at least, if not later, tomorrow. Into just like one of the big... I do have some of the big Band-Aids, matter of fact, right here in this little thing, I think. That's not a Band-Aid, is it? Yeah, like one of these Band-Aids, is that a big Band-Aid? Yep. Yep, one of these big square ones, I might just do that. And I have some of this, what do you call it, Tagaderm or something in here? My aunt always called it fake skin. Yeah, Tagaderm. Okay. I might change this to something different so it's a little more comfortable because honestly, Look how wrinkled my skin is. Oh my God, I look like I'm 150. <laughs> yeah, that's just wrinkled like that from the, um, see, this one's not like that, I promise. <laughs> but I do have a little mark right there and I don't know what that's from because the, you can see that little mark, that's where the IV was in. There's a slight little bruise there, but you can't really see it much. But yeah, I don't know what this mark's from, but it was there after the surgery. How long are you so. supposed to keep that dry? I don't know. I guess until I go back to see him. I called him this morning to ask. I called this morning to ask the doctor if I was still supposed to keep it dry. Uh, well, I asked. I called the surgery center and just talked to the nurse because they said to keep it dry, but I thought they meant the bandage. I said, now, after I take the bandage off today, do I still have to keep it dry? And she said, yes, you do. And I said, I can't take a shower with it or anything. I have to keep it. And she says, yes, keep it covered. Do not get it wet. Keep it dry. So, when yeah, you, I don't know. I don't know for how long. I don't go back until the 6th of May. That's so, all the time for stitches to be in. That's when I go back. That ain't good. You have to scab over that. Well, I don't know. And scab over that, you know what it's going to feel like to get that out? Yeah. I'm not worried about it. I'll just do what he says. So, yep. Yeah, I got a palm, uh, bruised palm. But... But you know what, though? My fingers aren't numb. It's been a while since they haven't been numb, so my fingers are not numb. They're not tingling. No, no, that's not too long. It's about 10, 11 days for me. I can feel my fingertips. Yeah, so, all right, guys. This video is getting really long just to take off my bandage, so that's it. Give me a thumbs up for not passing out, and I'll see you tomorrow.